In this video, I'm going to show you how to read data from a file. And the example I'm going to use is I have a file with equations, and I want to read that file in with the, all the equations and then write the result to another file. So let's first take a look at the file that I have. I have the file named equations.txt. And so this file has equations such as 5 plus 3, 2 minus 1, 27 times 3. And what I want the program to do is read these in and then write them out with the result to a result.txt file. So let's go back to our program. The first thing that we need to do is we need to add a preprocessor directive to include file stream, f stream. And then we create an if stream object. I call this in and we open it directly. So here we pass in the absolute path to the desktop and then on the desktop, the file name, like I said, it's called equations.txt. So this is the file we want to read from. I also want to write it out to another file. This will also be on the desktop and I call this out and this will be users also on the desktop and this I call results.txt. So these are the two files. Um, the the results.txt doesn't exist yet, so it will be created, but the equations is the file that I just showed you. So we use a while loop since we don't know how many equations there are. And I want to read as long as I have not reach the end of file. And to check this is we do in.eof. So in is the variable here. You could really name this anything. Then you would have to, like if we renamed this, for example, file, I would have to type in here file.eof, OK? So I leave it file just because I just renamed it. So E of F stands for end of file. So we check, is the end of file reached? And I put the not operator before. So if we have not reached the end of file, I will read in one line. And I will, the line will be an, first an operand. So operand one, I read in for my file operand one. So this will read the first integer. Then I read in a character. This is the operator. And then I read another integer, which is operand two. So now I have a single equation. Now what I want to do is I want to compute the result. But in order to do this, I have to check what operator we have. So let's use a switch statement for this. Here I check if it's a plus. I perform addition and to store the result, let me actually add a variable before, I call this result. So in this case, I do result equals operand one plus operand two. Then the next case will be subtraction. So this will be operand one minus operand two and break statement to not continue. Then I have multiplication. So here will be operand one multiplied by operand two. And then I have division. Result is operand one divided by operand two. Now I can add more cases, but I leave it for these four. And I could add a default and I output error. The operand here, not recognized. So I don't know what this is. Um, so next thing is, I assume that 
this all works. Oh, this, there's a typo here. Let me fix this. So I could probably uh, add more checking here that I don't perform this next line st statement uh, where I write to a file, but I keep it simple. So I assume they're all valid statements. I don't do too much validation here. So let's say I have the result now and I wanna write to my output file. So when I scroll up, the output file here I named out. So to write to the output file, oh, let's get this. I write out, I write operand one, add a space, and I output the operator, add a space. I output the second operand, and now add a equal sign, and then the result and a line break. And then at the end, I close both files. So file.close and the other one named out. So I call out.close. So let's check. You're missing here something. Let's check. So let's remove this. It was a typo. So let's check on the desktop. I really just have the equation file to show you there are three equations. And let's close this. Let's go back to our program and run our program and see if it works. So it succeeded. It runs. Check the console. It ended. So let's go back to the desktop. Yes, here are the results. Now if I open them, we can see it computed most of them multiplied times three. This this doesn't seem quite correct. So let's see if check if we have a bug there. Yes. So here we're missing the break statement. So it actually fell through to the next case and did division. Now let's go back and test this. But before I test it, let's also see if our problem still runs if we add a few more cases here. So let's add 14 plus 23, and let's add 27 divided by uh, divided by 3. So close this. I save it. Results I can leave. We can see that it will override it. Now if I go back to Xcode and I run this program. Succeeded. Let's make sure it finished. So this one finished. Let's check the results. When I open these, we can see now it computed everything correctly. It has 81. Here it performed division and it, it computed all of them and essentially replaced the earlier results in the file. So this should give you an idea how to read different data from a file. Essentially, it's just like reading from the console. Um, but we check here if the end of file was reached. So we do this in a loop. Well, thank you for watching.